Hello, welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I'm here in lockdown. I've got more beer. This one I've got is a replacement beer. Sadly, the beer in the book which it replaces no longer exists. It doesn't, it's not brewed anymore. Uh, well, it might still exist in some people's beer cellars, but uh, I picked another beer by the brewery and the brewery's actually changed name or it's merged or something. The brewery was, so this was supposed to be Blanche de Saisis. Uh, from Brasserie Elezeloas, uh, but that is now Brasserie uh, de Legends. Uh, and we have done another beer by them before. Uh, I think uh, was the Hercule Stout. So let's just look, just look that up for a minute to make sure it was indeed the same one. Brasserie... Yeah, the Hercule Stout. So there we go. So what I've done, I've got another beer by them, which was easy enough to get hold of, which is the Quintine Blonde Beer. So this one I've seen a few times. I've never tried it before. Uh, so I'll talk about it in a minute in terms of its uh, bottle. But let's crack it open and see what it's got to say for itself. Hopefully it doesn't explode. It's not exploded. Excellent. It's got a flip cap one which you don't have very often that's always quite nice belgian so almost certainly will be bottled fermented so i'll leave a little bit in the bottom i see any gunk coming out oh, a very dark brown uh, bottle this one i'll see that last bit in there i don't know if there is any gunk but let's just leave it anyway Here, survive right so let's talk about the bottle first of all so, oh yeah i didn't say what percentage it even is it's eight percent the beer in the book was 6.8, 6.2, so this one's a lot stronger. Uh, Quintin Blonde, it's got a picture of what I presume is a witch on the broomstick. It says here, uh, Then make a wish, it will be granted. That's the only English bit there. Uh, Belgian beer on that bit, and it says... The barley is cultivated with intimate knowledge and a huge respect for the land at our family farm, Beauregard. Our master brewer elaborates our beers. Elaborates our beers. This is a bad translation. In Elezelas, in the heart of the land of hills. I'm not so sure that has been translated that well into English. Uh, what does it say? Refermented in the bottle. 100% craft and natural beer. Oh, there we go. Uh, Beer de Legend, uh, Bru Battery de Legends, Rue de Castel 19, uh, and some sort of postcode in Belgium. Okay, well, let's put that aside. Let's have a look at the beer. Uh, it's set down quite well, not much for head. It's kind of like a slightly hazy blonde colour, uh, which I would, slightly orange, which I would expect from a Belgian blonde. So I don't know anything about this beer at all, so let's go for the smell. Okay, I'm getting, I am getting sort of a blonde smell, kind of hops, a little bit of a multi backbone in the smell. It does smell very nice, it smells very Belgian. It's got almost, almost a hint of honey and uh, almost, I don't know, like a herby kind of note. Let's go for it anyway. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. That is really nice. Mm. It's sweet without being cloying. It has got that kind of slight honey sweetness, uh, which I very much like. I like a honey sweetness in a beer. Um, I'm getting a little bit of booze. There is a nice malty undertone. Not too hoppy. Um, it's kind of sweet and smooth is the way I would describe this. Um, let me have another taste. Yeah, a little bit of um, slightly rough edge to it as it goes down the back of the throat. Uh, sort of rough, sweet. If you imagine kind of some rough honeycomb, that's what kind of would it be like. Um, it is a nice beer, though. I don't know if it's any. Would it be any better than the, the beer that they they first said? I've got. I know nothing about this one at all. I haven't done any research on it. Uh, I t I'm taking it as it is. Uh, it is good. It's not as good as a Hercule Stout. The Hercule Stout is, is, is great. So go back and watch my review on that. Uh, this is good. It's a good effort as a blonde beer. But if you want to buy a beer from Brasserie de Legends, buy the Hercule Stout. It knocks this one into a cocked hat. 
just going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another peer review very, very soon.